The Frashoni Center came to be because my husband, Pat, and his brothers, Henry and Frank, decided they wanted to give something back to the community, the community that helped them get started, that helped them through the bad times and the good times. I'm Adeline Frashoni of the Frashoni Center, better known as Miss Addie there, and we're celebrating our 20th year. The president of Marywood and a good friend of theirs, Sal Cognetti, approached them about building a daycare center on campus, and they decided they would donate the home and uh, the furnishings and give it to Marywood University. I've been associated with the center from day one, so that's 20 years ago. I've seen the mission uh, living out right in front of my eyes, and the care and the love and the respect given to each child and each parent. Uh, I'm Dr. Patrick Frischoni, and I would like to above all thank Sister Ann Munley, Marywood University, and the Board of Directors for having given me this opportunity to express my gratitude on behalf of my family, particularly my father and my uncle, um, and, and again, uh, the Frashoni family itself. I remember when uh, my father first came home and, and told us about the center. Uh, he told me what a great facility this would be as a daycare center. He was very much uh, in tone to the needs of single parents, particularly those returning back to school to try to fulfill their dreams or goals. And he said it would be a great thing to indirectly be able to help more than one person have a center like that. Roll the clock ahead, I suppose, uh, right up into the present. My cousin Pat and I, he was on the board here at, at the university. And uh, we decided that it would be nice to set up an endowment fund to continue what our parents had started. The daycare center seemed to be doing extremely well. It was very popular. Uh, it was a nurturing environment. The staff, we thought, was was more than excellent. They were caring, they were nurturing. Um, we just thought for all the right reasons, we wanted to continue what our parents had begun. But it would be nice at some time in the future if our children were to get involved with the center or with the university itself. You know, just to have your name on, on a building at a university or to be associated with a university, it's humbling. There were so many other people that came before or came before or after us, I should say, whether they gave their time or their money. Uh, whether it's the Salacos, uh, Mr. Labrigetta, the Kane family, the, the Lina family, uh, to even be included in that company, I, I felt honored. So I think, you know, if my children can see that um, and see what you get back from the community, I think that says everything. <laughs>